So I spend a lot of time telling you guys why you should listen to me. But one thing I've never done, and probably not many of us YouTubers have ever done, is tell you why you shouldn't listen to us. So let's find out some of the dirty secrets of MLO. Uh, the first one is I normally accidentally leave a root terminal open on my computer. Yeah, it locks out after a time, but that's still a bad security risk. I'm an idiot. Especially because I work in security. Um, but let's go for some more of the other stuff. Let's take a look at my mate config. Right. As you can see here. I have got graphite turned on. Now you're going to be asking why are you running graphite for? It's not even really supported in GCC anymore. Well. I run it because a lot of people run it and I just wanted to see what bugs could be found on it. Yep, that's right. I hate a system that works, so I actively look for things that will break my system. So I run it for you. I also run LTO for the same reason. I just like finding bugs. I mean, if that's a reason why you shouldn't really copy me on how I daily run a system. I don't know what else is. Uh, what we got else here? Uh, I just comment stuff out when I want things to work. Look at the state of these use flags. I mean, package.use the model? Come on, mate. Uh, at least I put some comments here. You can tell I, I did care once. Uh, another thing I do is run except keywords uh, title AMD64. Yeah, I like testing packages that are brand new. I don't run it because it's the arch experience, as a certain YouTuber says. I run it because I like to find bugs. And this is why you shouldn't copy my day-to-day -day system, because I just don't want a stable system. I want things to break. I've also accept all licenses. I don't really care about licenses. I like NVIDIA as well. That's going to get some of your goats up, but you know for me i've used um linux for quite a long time probably longer than some of my viewers have been alive 20 odd years now i think 23 years this year um i have had top quality support from nvidia all that time i ain't switching to amd like when a company's looked after me as well as this company has they deserve my money uh there's a load of QEMU stuff that I use for testing. I don't know why I've got Ruby targets that here. I should comment that out. And there's a bin cache random thing there. I need to be better at commenting actually what I do with my system. I've got no idea what half this stuff's here for. <laughs> so, yeah, there's my make config. That's one of the reasons why you don't want to run a system exactly how I do. Now, you're going to be sitting here going, well, you run a series that tells me how to run it. Yes, I do. And I run run those systems in char roots and VMs just so you can see how a real Gen 2 system should be set up for a normal user. Those are the systems you want to be following me at. My day-to-day -day stuff, no, 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 no. Let's take a look more examples, though, of things I do that are silly. Let's take a look at... Um, E select GCC list. Right, as you can see here, I'm running GCC 14. Now, it's getting close to release candidate as the time of uh, this recording. I've been running this since April. Why? I just like to see what bugs I can find. I found quite a few as well. And um, thank you to everyone that's fixed those bugs for me. Yeah, this is my production machine, you know, the system that I make all my videos on for YouTube. I don't make life easy for myself. Other things I do is I occasionally run the live e-build of glibc, just um, to help with keywording requests in Gen 2, and goodness knows what other testing features I can find. I've actually got a server running a completely experimental hardening patch just to find bugs. That's a production server just to find bugs. It's not even looking to be added to Gen 2 yet. They're just using my info 
to, to see how it would work. Is this the sort of guy you want to be following? Is it really? Let's take a look at some other things I do. Emerge. I run the Live E build version of Meeson. Why do I run the Live E version? Well, rebuilds my entire system with Emerge E at World for GCC. One of the Meeson devs, um, Eli, asked me to run the live version of Meeson as well, just so I can see if there's any breakages and report them to them early. Yep. Yep, that's me. I wonder if there's any other stupid things I do. I wonder when's the last time I cleared my cache. Let's do that. Uh, this files. Uh, I've got 23 gigabytes of this files of right here. And I'm a terrible person at my own systems. So, I think that's a few examples of just how bad I am at running a system and why. And that's not even getting in to the times that I run Muscle on bedded systems and I run Pentium 2s from the 90s just to see what breaks. Oh, I've also got a 1992 um, M68K that I ported a brand new, uh, I ported, um, Muscle 2 in Gen 2, in Gen 2 to give it support just for the sheer thrill of it. Yeah, I think I think that shows you why. I might give good advice, but I'm not a person to emulate. You do not want to be like me. Anyway, guys, let's hear your bad um, your bad habits that you do in Gen 2. Hopefully, yeah, uh, someone's a little bit worse than me. Kind of worried though that no one's gonna be. Keep compiling, folks.